Hi everyone, it's JT here. I am back with another video. It's been a while, huh? Um, let's see here. Uh, today video I will show you uh, some surfacing tool pass, right? I create this model here real quick. So to show you if you work with uh, surfacing a lot or uh, if you work with mold a lot and then this two pass may be handy for you let's say if you had a mold or something like this and then you just want an area of that surface need to be finished either like modify or uh, you just want a partly finish of this, so let's see which one easy. Maybe this one, huh? Uh, let's do the long one here. All right, uh, maybe we can put a radius on here as well. Okay, put radius, let's do 30 down. Okay, something like that. So it's usually, you know, more is. You don't want to leave a sharp edge up there, so. Alright, so let me show you if I just want this surface right here finished only, right? And then this tool pass is very good and very handy to you. Um, it's called tool curve flow or something like that. Let's see here, create your tool pass. Um, this radius is 125, so I make a uh, 252, and then we need to get some geometry out, so let me see. Right, so that that the geometry right there that we need to use. And then pull it down and select this uh, operation surface, okay? And then it called two curve flow, okay? Two curve flow. And here you fill out whatever you need to, and then fill it out. And then the depth, of course, is gonna be all the way to the bottom, okay? And here is how you want to control the tool all right so if you want the tool go cross like this you check a long curve if you want the tool go up and down and then you do cross curve and then usually i use back and forth because i don't want it go one way and then it fit and grab it and then go back and then do another one so it's usually 90%, 99% of the time that I use back and forth. So the tool keep it engaged in the surface. And I mean, everything else should be nothing else to chew from. All right, so that's easy, right? Okay, here the important thing here. So if you want the two go from bottom up and then you select the bottom first, if you want the tool go from top down, and then you select the top first. So, select that point, but I don't select the whole geometry. No, I usually select point, but let's see if select the whole geometry will work or not. Hmm, it still work, I guess. Okay, huh, interesting. Usually, I just select from point to point. But, okay, let's render it, nice. Okay. Well, as you can see, it look good. Uh, yeah, it's gonna touch this, but I then just the rendering, see? So you, ran, would, you render with this, it look better. But you can see yellow, blue, yellow, blue, which is good. Okay. <clears throat> okay, let me see what to it go. Is it from from top down? Okay. 
All right. So as you can see that it go from top down, right? But let's say if I want to select the bottom first, then the top. Do it. Okay. And render. I just want to render that one. Let's. Okay. And you can see it go from the bottom up, right? You see that? The two go from the bottom up. I mean, only the first one. I don't know if you can see or not, but only the first one, you know, it go, it start from the bottom. And you can see here, this one right here, right? Why this one is start from the top right here, as you can see, right? So another one when you want, you don't want to go up and down. You want crosses. You just select this one, and then do it. Therefore, you can see the two paths doesn't. It's not consistent. So that's why I usually don't use this one. So let's delete it. Delete it. All right. So that how you use the curve to curve flow. I use this one a lot when I make a lot of mold part before, uh, and I use this tool to finish it. Usually, this is for finish. This is not for roughing. All right. So this is most of the time I use this for finish tool pass. All right, so let's say if we want to do it, this one right here. Let's see if it work. Okay, so this one it's gonna be smaller, so I'm gonna create a smaller tool because that's the bottom right here that's smaller. All right. So everything the same, right? Okay, and you can see it will uh, it look good to me. Okay, but I think this is start form. from here so it doesn't okay doesn't make a lot of gen but still you know wherever you should your model or your surface is you should start from there let me see how it look okay all right look at that look good right so yeah I think that should drive up for this video and I mean this one if you again if you do a lot of molding you will understand this and maybe I mean maybe it not just apply to molding but you know all the part or whatever part you know you can do with I think it's very handy hope you guys like it and uh, whatever your opinion is you know put a comment down there so i know and something uh, if i don't do it right or uh, something like that let me know also so i can make a better video in the future uh, whatever you want me to do uh, you know put it down there and especially if you like my video my channel make sure you subscribe it and hit the notification button so when I have a new video you can see it first right okay have a good weekend and see you guys next time then goodbye now